All right, welcome to the video. We're going to talk about the new specialized Mimic, which is a predecessor. Well, it's not even a predecessor, just something different to the uh, the Power. Specialized Power come out in 2015 on the stores here in Australia. This is the Mimic. Just grabbed one of these about an hour ago uh, from Bike Society in Adelaide. So Specialized used to have a really cool thing, uh, which is a great idea. They used to have demo saddles. Uh, and so you always look at man is try to saddle before you really commit to it. And so now they've specialized, I've scrapped the demo saddle. I was like, that's a bad idea. But what they're doing now is they're doing a 30 day money back guarantee. So if you go to a local specialized dealer, grab yourself uh, one of these saddles. If you're looking for a different saddle, try out the Mimic. I just put it on a, a Natasha's bike and I rate it. So it's definitely worth a go. Uh, what I like about it, it just, just makes you sit in your sit bones more. You might hate this fucking saddle. Me, just riding it maybe for two or three minutes, I'm like, hmm, this saddle's got a lot of potential for me. Would it overtake a lot of my other saddles, being the, the Phenom, which is one of my favorite ones. I like how straight it sits. This one's got a bit more of a curve in it. But this is one of my classic ones here. But this, ooh, you know, this has definitely got a lot of potential to mimic. So again, saddles is a personal preference. I do recommend though, I love the Specialized Saddles. They got this thing called the Body Geometry, which came out in uh, 1999. And it talks about, you know, having a bit of a groove in there, making you sit in your sit bones. Um, I think it was Andy Pruitt they worked with, who was a urologist potentially, and just designing saddles to be a bit more anatomical for male and female genitalia. And Natasha, you've been writing your specialized saddle fit, haven't you? You know, right, mind it? Natasha's like, hurry up and make the fucking video, I wanna try the saddle out. Um, so yeah, another one I've liked as well has been the Rival. Again, it's got that body geometry channel on it. It just makes you sit on your sit bones, aka issue tuberosities. And so yeah, so the Mimic, definitely recommend it. Uh, I like the toupee as well. So yeah, again, just go to your local specialized dealer and uh, and try one out. This is a traditional saddle. It, it, for me, this is like a prostate pounder. This is, your shit's going numb. You ain't gonna, your dig ain't gonna work it's that good. So I don't rate these saddles anymore. If, if you like this saddle, then it, if it's working for you, then that's fine, all right? Just because it doesn't work for me when it comes to saddle, might work for you, fair enough, and vice versa. But if you are experiencing numbness, then play with your saddle. Also play with saddle angle, all right? A lot of people have their saddle up like that, then that can cause a lot of pressure at the point here on your perineum or your gooch or your, your mut. And so what you wanna do is maybe generally have it dead flat or maybe a little bit down. If it's too tilted down like your Yaroslav Cool Harvey style, you'll have a lot of pressure on your handlebars on your hands. If you if you got your saddle tilted like that, then maybe lower your seat height two or three mil and try to level it out a little bit more. All right, try that, and get a whiteout pen and mark any points on there so you know, you know if your seat slipped at all. A lot of people out there, if you look at some of my saddles, um, on this one here, I'm not sure if you can see it. There's a whiteout pen mark, and so that way we know if it's moved. There's a black pen on there as well. If it's moved, we can put it in because a lot of times the saddle will slip backwards just from you know hitting bumps and wear and tear and just power. It'll shift backwards. So you've paid, you know, $100, $700 for bike fit. You've left there with no marking points. So you see if you go up or down or forward or backwards, you wouldn't even know. And you're like, oh, I got a need issue. <clears throat> but you, where, what was your original seat height? What was your original point there? You can measure things, but nothing beats having that little whiteout pen mark or little light scratch or stuff like that. So you have a default setting, very important. <clears throat> when you're setting the saddle up, again, you want to have it sort of level and then maybe a little bit down like that. All right, but just play with it, all right? play with it. And and saddles, you know, you're always gonna have a little bit of discomfort in a saddle. All right? I don't think there's anything out there that's 100% perfect. You always, you're not designed to ride bikes, let's be honest. You know? But bikes are incredible, and there's ways we can accommodate cycling to our anatalia, anatalia, um, genitalia anatomy. So yeah, this is called the Mimic by Specialized, and it just, it just even just feels nice just to touch it. It's very, uh, it's almost a little bit sexual. So yeah, it's um, the Mimic by Specialized. Definitely worth a go, especially for my female audience out there. This is a women specific saddle, but guys can try it as well. Hey, if you like it, swing both ways, it's all good. Um, but yeah, try it out, the Mimic Specialized. Let us know what your thought. This is a Specialized Mimic review. I've ridden it, I rate it. Do you, do you rate it or do you fucking hate it? Let us know in the comment section down below. Go to your local Specialized dealer. Ask them for demo saddles. Maybe they've got even some some saddles going uh, going cheap. I know I got this, you know, got a bargain on this one just before. Very very good price. So old new old stock, a bit dirty and scratched up, but I love this saddle. So just you never know what's in the basket under the counter. All right, but yeah, if you're on a budget, 
Uh, so demo settled if you're not, then try one of these. 30-day money-back guarantee from Specialized. I'm a fan of that. I'm a fan of Specialized product. My Epic S-Works, though, oh, man, it's fucking terrible. The suspension's fucked. It's just three, I mean, three shocks in. Don't even get me started. That's, a, that's another video about it. You know, so I'm a Specialized fanboy, um, but I'll, so be, I'll be honest as well. The Specialized Epic, worst bike I've ever bought. The latest S-Works bling-bling, worst bike I've ever bought. Worst bike I've ever ridden. Because it's just so disappointing how good it could be, but how poor it actually is. Anyway, I digress. This is the Mimic saddle. Test it out. It's got this really interesting foam in there. It's very interesting foam. It's a bit, bit, it's a bit reminiscent of the old. Pardon? Memory, Memory foam, Natasha said. Yeah, you, got any, you got any, uh, you got any, uh, you want to chime in here at all? No, I'm on you. Hurry up. Was, <laughs> she was, all right. So the next video will be Natasha's opinion on it. It's a bit, very soft, bit like this, uh, this Nike. So everything's going max cushioning now. And that is the little packet that comes in. So nice recycle packet. It's got some bit of information there. Go to check out workspecialized.com information if you want more information about it. But uh, yeah, it's uh, it's definitely a step forward in the right direction. I'm a fan. Drew Knight is a fan. Drew Knight approved saddle. I rate it. You might hate it. Test ride, then decide. Carbs, can't fuck up motherfuckers. Carb the fuck up corn, rice, potatoes, yams, bananas, mangoes, dates, plantain, melons, blueberries, blackberries, moles. Get them motherfucking carbohydrates in. Go vegan motherfuckers. Cut the fuck up the fuck up the fuck up the fuck up.